BBR Season 5, Week Number 2. We are taking on my best friend in the entire whole gosh diggity darn world, Del, aka Del Ray, aka D Double, coach of the Edmonton Coilers. So if you guys are excited for today's Pokemon, Wi Fi, battery, like button, and subscribe button down below. Did you know that almost 64% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed? That's, an, that's a crazy number to me, and I'd really appreciate if you could help me lower that number by hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, we are playing Dell. Dell is the bigger brother that I never had. He is my best friend in the world. I love Dell to death. Um, that being said, I need to kick his goddamn teeth in um, because it's the run back season, baby. Um, Dell has some very interesting Pokemon on his team, example being Komala. Good luck, fun to Del. Please go check him out. He's been blowing the fuck up lately, and it makes me super happy because I love Del to death. So please go check out Del if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And uh, go show, show, show him some love, as I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that being said, we need to stop this kid. Last time he tried to Pikachu me. This time he's gonna try and Komalo me. Why is that girl in the background cry? Cheese would be no, not the fucking Arby's beef and cheddars. I'm gonna cry. As we lead, cheese and beef, beef and cheese. Fun fact: Kurt hates uh, the voice that I do with that. So um, hopefully he has some appreciation for it. I'm going to physically start crying tears if he fucking RB beef and cheddars me. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my shit, bro. I'm getting up rocks. Leatherwing can't do anything to me. Um, and just yeah, just get him up. He doesn't have has he has Komala. <laughs> he's fucking spit on his Komala. You getting you tizzy? Oh! Into B and stop. Why are they all beef and cheddar? <laughs> Please make it go away. <laughs> Why are they all beef and cheddars? No. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh, so much. I'm in a whirlwind. None of that. I... Mm, don't write none of that. Nuh-uh, nuh, -uh, nuh -uh. Are you White Herb or are you... What are you? Do we see White Herb? No. Okay. What I was scared of there... Dude, I thought he came back. I thought he didn't leave. I thought he had some fucking item. The fucking magical book of nonsense where he's like, no, I don't want to leave. I'm staying right here. And I was like, oh my god, please no. Um, welcome back, Arby's Beef and Shatters. I, uh, you make me want to cry, bro. That's not cool. Um, I absolutely munch on a CC. So I'm gonna slack off on what should be... Well, I mean, he could slack off, or he could CC, I guess, but, like, I'll take it, and then I'll heal, and then I'll switch appropriately, which, to be fair, I don't know if fighting resist on this team, so I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to deal with this thing. Um, that being said, hazard damage is good. Sash Dreadnought is what I was scared of, because if he's Sash, Sash Smash Dreadnought actually is what scared me, which is why I clicked Whirlwind over Earthquake, because Earthquake is a roll to kill, which could mean he would have been, um, Sashied if he came in aggressive like that on the U-turn, so... I am content. Now that the thing is broken, I really don't mind clicking Earthquake on Dreadnought. He is Shell Smash. He is not White Herb. Uh, no WH. Back into Beef and Shedder. The Dreadnought. Um, and after Rock Skis. Um, Dreadnought. Earthquake after Rocks is a guaranteed Oko. So I'm going to take my kill here. Because he should just Liquidation, which will do like 20% to me. Um, fearing a whirlwind, so he might aggro play on a whirlwind. Um, or he might try and self smash again, which either way is good for me. Um, this dude, I hate this thing is so annoying. Yeah, fuck you and your beef and cheddars, bro. None of the beef and cheddars for you. Absolutely munch that shit up. Lowers my defense, that's kind of annoying. Uh, which actually is kind of annoying for the Slitherwing coming in. We're gonna earthquake, and do we pick up a knockout? Oh my god, you are. Holy shit, you are bulky. He's policy. So I think I need to Earthquake and stop him from setting up because I don't know where else I go on this thing. Unless I go aggressive Deli Bird right here. <sighs> to keep him out on. No. I don't think it's worth it. Mm, I don't like that play. From my end, from my end. Oh, but I do, because it makes the most sense. Uh, that's that's a really good set, and that puts me in a really bad spot. Mod prevents him from keeping a Pokemon right now. Because at very worst, I'll get a Nuzzle on something. 
Whereas with Bundle, with Bundle, what I could do is he could go like an AV Magnezone and pivot, which is a solid pivot on his end. And it lets him keep this Dreadnought, which I don't like. Thunder Punch at least forces me into a position where I should be able to force a knockout in some way, which it is the Dreadnought. So at least I trade him out on that sense. He doesn't have rocks. Now, given I don't have rocks either anymore, because he's going to go Komala and spin them at some point, in comes this guy. I don't want to let this thing set up, but he's not going to set up in my... He's not going to set up in my face, because that doesn't make any fucking sense, right? I go Slow King. He's not clicking a Dark move here, so I could go Slow King, and that brings in my bundle for free. Which is probably the best place I'm going to get Slow King's value out of Eject Button, is getting my bundle into Force of KO here. Because Dark Move's not a play in a Palma. That's just stupid. If he U-turns, it's going to hurt, but I'll be able to take it and prevent his momentum, and I'll get information on what happens here. Scale Shot. That's what we were scared of. Oh, he brought everything we were scared of. Fuck, hell. And he gets five. Oh, he might actually be loaded dice. If I go Palma and go for the roll, what happens? If I don't get it, I have to go Serena anyways. So it's better for me to go Serena and just guarantee my kill. Because if, he go, if I go Palma and I don't pick up the kill, I take I lose my Palma and I have to sack Serena anyways. So I think it makes more sense for me to go Serena first and force the KO in that sense. Because now I can play rough here. He's going to withdraw. Cheese with beef. I hate this because I can't tell what's coming in. Hogu! Nasa! Hogu! It's a nice dude! Very nice! I like it the, I like it the kill, I like it the sex! I like it the sex! Beef and cheese is this dick. Quark drive? Yeah, of course you are. Uh, fucking course you are. <gasps> Pogu! He's attack boosting! Uh, I didn't account for Terra CC, but I think Terra CC kills me anyway, so my play doesn't matter. Yeah, there's the fighting type. No, I live Terra CC. I live this, so then I get to plus one. I did not live this. Why did I not live this? He is just raw damage then? Nope. I just don't have... Wait. We have Jugulus. I have to click fucking Hurricane. That works too. Okay. That works too. Why are you here? Who are you and why are you here? Comatose Kamala sleeping on me. That's insane to me. You feeling me? Okay. I didn't prep for Komala. I don't know what this Pokemon does. There is a default set for it in the calc, at least. Slow King lives any one hit. And I can Chili Reception to set the hail up. Slow King lives any one hit here. And I can Chili Reception to give myself the defense boost. So I take the hit better. If he is some weird fucking weird Komala set. Rapid Spin. We know that Homeboy is faster. We also know that he's not banded off of that. Gets rid of Rockies. That's fine. What's the deal with airplane food? Set up the hail. So now my... my or not the hail. What's that called? The snow. Set up the snow. So now I can munch any hit fairly easily. And I can click Hydro Pump fairly, fairly nicely. I click Freeze Dry even twice. But I like Pump here because it covers a Magnezone Switch as well. So I'm going to pump. It's AV. I didn't even think about AV. Body slam. No. Okay. I need to keep this for Moon. I have to go into King Julian. I need to keep this for Moon. No, I don't. Mm, I do. I don't. Eh. King Julian serves no purpose here. King Julian serves no purpose. He has a Dark type, a Grass type, a Komala, and a Magnezone. So King Julian realistically serves no purpose here. But King Julian also never dies to one hit from anything. So I'm able to force progress in that sense. That being said, I don't like the position I'm in. 
We are very close to Palmot cleaning here, though. Super power. All right, well, that's not very nice, now is it? See, I want to say that I'm a fucking boss-ass bitch and predicted that, but I would simply just be lying. I would simply just be lying to you. That being said, that's very funny. He's in a U-turn. Okay, so he's super power, body slam, rapid spin, Magnezone. Break this thing sturdy, if he has it. Can I get AV damage off of that? Potentially? That did too little. That did too little. That did just a little not enough for me to believe he's anything but AV. Volt Switch is a roll to kill me if he clicks it. Thunderbolt will guaranteed kill me. So I'm going to Thunder Wave if he Volt Switches because it catches anything. Shit. Well, he's not AV. Shit. I think I should have made this play last turn and the Thunder Wave play was the dumbest thing I've ever clicked. Because he Volt Switches and goes where? Like, where does he go on Bomb? Well, now he goes anywhere he wants. He gets both up. Okay. He's not going to Volt Switch here. He might be Boom. He's not going to Volt Switch in a Palmot. Is he Boom? That also works. Ow. So he's Steel Beam. Steel Beam. Ow. Does he die here? He dies. Magnezone dies. Do I get my thing off? What's the deal with airplane food? Ah. Did I just give him momentum? Dick. Wait, I don't give a fuck. Wait, I don't care at all. Because I just go into... Jugalus to stop thing com from coming in. He goes Moon, I'll just go to Private. Private brings in what? Private brings in Komala? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this and protect. I can go Private and protect. Even if he goes into, into Thing, into uh, McFucking Stupid Dick, what's his name? Leaves. I protect to stall out a turn of his screens. And then I can pepper it down with Bundle. And I think because of Slowking and Jugulus, I have enough turns to stall him out to where Palmot can win the game. I don't have rocks damage on Moon. In comes this thing. I'm gonna protect here. It does get agility. I did not know this thing got it. I didn't think it had a way to boost its speed. Fuck. Did I just throw? As long as I have Palm out in the back, I don't need Bundler. So I'm going to Hydro here. He is Clay. He is Clay. He should have to click. He might have clicked Close Combat to kill me here. He Leaf Blades. I die. He's adamant though. So yeah, it makes sense. So I just have to land two hurricanes or stall out thing for Palmont to win. Which landing two hurricanes should be pretty simple for my boy. Right? Like Nobu Mecha doesn't miss. So we just land two and get rid of this thing. Because I still two it Kale. Even with screen up. Still two it Kale this thing. So we land two and kill him. And then he goes, where? He's in checkmate once this dies. He's in checkmate once this thing takes enough damage to CC to kill him, right? Unless he's Chopple Moon, that's the only way this isn't checkmate. Which if he's Chopple Moon, I just need to not let this thing die. Leaf Blade, munched. Land a Hurricane. A fucking easy. Pogu. I like it to confuse. I'm going to pivot Slow King. I'm going to pivot Slow King and sack him off to get rid of Light Screen. Because he should have to CC here. But how does that help me? Because he's in range of Palmont. Now he's definitely in range of Palmont. Nice. Snow stops. Reflect should go away. Perfect. 
So now Slowking can die. Slowking can die. Which is fine. Because then we bring in Palmot to mock punch this thing. Does him hitting himself in that turn matter? That's unfortunate. Um, if he hits himself one... Yeah, both matter. Both definitely matter. That's unfortunate for him. That's unfortunate for Dell. I'm not going to lie. That's really unfortunate. Um, I'm going to... I guess I just chilling. Because Komala, I just want damage. And, yeah. I kind of want Sloking to die here. Snapped out of confusion. Full para. No. <laughs> that would have been funny. Though. Oh, King Julian! King Julian! Oh, King Julian! Oh, King Julian! Okay. So then, do... I don't think him hitting himself matters, then. Because Slow King would have guaranteed got the damage off, regardless of the turn. Hello, beef with cheese. You are a lot higher health than I thought you were. Not Thunder Wave this. Crunch. Maybe I should have went Jugulus there and kept Slow King a sack fodder. I should be able to get two air slashes off. Which will guarantee put him in range. Also, flinchy chance. Haha, <laughs> funny. And then win with Mach Punch. I think. I don't... I, that makes more sense to me. Because Palma doesn't kill, and if he has Earthquake, I lose the game. So I should be able just to spam Air Slash into his team here. Until Jugulus dies, and then bring in Palmot to just mock Punch clean up the game. And just not let him play the game. He took, he's at 88. 88 minus 33 is 55. I'm still faster. I'm not faster. You're DD Scale Shot. But you don't kill me. You don't kill me unless you click Scale Shot and then you die. Unless he's Chopple. That is the only way he wins right now is if he's Chopple. Only get two. You can have one more. No, you can't have one more. Jugu! Yes! Yes, Jugu! Yes! That's it. Let's go! No shot he's Chopple in this. Ah, it would make a lot of sense. It would make a lot of sense if he's Shoppel. For Palmot, yeah, that would make sense. But he's minus two now. Yeah, but if he gets three on that last turn. <sighs> Am I lucky and bad? Am I lucky and bad? Did I just get bailed? Have I just been bailed this whole game? I feel like I might have been. Please don't be Chopple so I can feel like I didn't get bailed the entire game. Please just be a normal item and let me kill you. Please don't be Chopple. Okay, I didn't get bailed. Oh, okay. If he was Chopple, I was actually going to feel really bad. Because I feel like I've just been nothing but bailed this game. But we're okay. All that's left is Comatose Kamala. Sleeping on me, that's insane to me. You feeling me? Just a cheesecake. I know I said it last time, but I love cheesecake. Late at night time? That's the cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Late at night time. Play close combat. Get rid of Kamala. <laughs> He's looking down at him like something stupid. You are about to receive death, you stupid bitch. I don't think any of the hacks I got really matters, but I'm sure Dell has his own opinions on it. And I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying he's wrong. But it was an amazing game. Couldn't have gotten any closer. And against Dell, I love playing Dell. You fucking very creative builder. Lots of great sets. Lots of great play. And, uh, you know, phenomenal game overall. GG's to Dell. Like I said in the, in the intro, please go check out Dell. He's my best friend in the world. He puts amazing content. He is on his road to 100 subscribers if he didn't hit it already. And oh, he genuinely it appreciates all the support. And it makes me feel happy to see him feel happy. And it's just, it, it's overall an amazing feeling. So, GG's to Dell. If you guys did enjoy today's Wi-Fi battle, make sure like button and subscribe button down below. On the left hand side will be a YouTube video recommended for you. And on the right hand side will be the rest of our BBR Season 5 playlist if you haven't checked it out already. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kurt, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out. Bye.